I wanted to do a career review today, and what am I doing? I'm doing the Breville Dual Boiler. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and I'm going to go over the features of this machine once again. And I know we've done it in the past, but hey, can't hurt to review it again. As it's in its description, it's a double boiler which means there's a boiler for the brew side and a boiler for the steam side, which means that you can do both functions at the same time in this particular machine, which is kind of nice. Traditional steam arm with three holes on the tip down here. Uh, this is the lever for the steam arm. Dispense hot water right down here, and this is the, uh, the knob to turn to get hot water. It has a menu in here where you can get into the shot volume, and these uh, volumetric buttons over here control the shot, how much liquid goes down into your cup. Over here you can program it, turn it on, when you get the volume of coffee you want in your cup, your shot glasses, you stop it. Now it's programmed to get that same amount each time. Let's see, uh, shot temperature, you can change that. That's the boiler temperature is what that equates to, you can change that. Auto on, auto off. The auto start is off, but if you had the clock set up and all that, you could actually come on in the morning. You could have the machine come on at a particular time for you. Clock set, uh, you set the clock so that the machine knows what time it is so that you can program it to come on when you want it to come on. Uh, the clean cycle is automatic, and what that is is it's the cycle to do the essentially the back flushing, and it does the sequence with the tablet in there and the blind basket. There you go, it just does it for you. You don't have to worry about it. 58 millimeter portafilter. The nice thing about this is it's a stainless steel. You don't have to worry about the chrome peeling off on the inside underneath the basket. It comes with four baskets. This is another nice feature that Breville does. It comes with two non-pressurized and two pressurized. Single, double, and one of each type. The pressurized baskets allow you to have the grind of your coffee off just a little bit and the tamp off, but you're still going to get a decent shot. It you know, just compensates. The non-pressurized, now you want to get a decent grinder. Just make sure it's a good one that's going to go fine enough. Do your tamp, dial it in. You're looking for 20 to 30 seconds for a double shot, which is two ounces. Dial that in. And that then set the time for what tastes best at that, for that shot. Maybe that coffee tastes best at 25 seconds. Sometimes it'll taste best at 30, 35, 20. Taste it. That's the story. If it tastes good, don't, don't worry about the numbers as much as taste. The taste is what you're looking for. Hot water over here, like I said. Tamper that comes with it that is magnetically stored right up in there. It has a door right here where you can fill the... Uh, the water tank, which is in the back, and I'll show you that in a second. Stainless steel casing all around, quite nice. Here's a uh, viewing uh, glass over here, or whatever you want to call it, so you can see how much water is in the tank, and I actually shine a light up through a little LED so you, you can see it. Drip tray right here that comes out, quite nice. This floats. Tells me, tells you when it's full, it'll float up, and well, you want to empty it because you don't want to be wearing it when you go to move it. Now that I have this open, storage tools right go down in here, and it comes with the little brush, and it comes with uh, not a brush, but a um, the baskets and just some little tools. Uh, this is how you raise this machine up. Right now, it's sitting on all four legs, and it's pretty well glued to the countertop. I want to get to the back of it to play around with the water tank to clean it. I go like this. You saw it rise up. It goes up on a roller bearing. Now it's really easy to move. Round she comes. And here's the water tank. More or less, AKA swimming pool. And the diving board is right over here. This is 84 ounces of water. And charcoal filter that you can get. That One comes with it, but then you can put a charcoal filter replacement in here. and. Keeps the water nice. Always use filtered water in machines. We just recommend that. Not distilled, filtered. You want some minerals. So, the other thing you can do is if you don't want to use the volumetric, you can do manual. Punch it on, brew what you want, punch it off. We like that. Power button right there. And that's the basic features of this machine.
What do you say we make a drink? I'm ready. I'll show you the steaming power on this too. When I purge it, you'll see how the steaming power is. It's pretty good. You know, it's no slouch. So I can brew and steam at the same time, and oh, heck, I'll try it. You know, I'm not always great at that, but what the heck. I'm just getting out the water and I'm also showing you what the power is like. Not bad. That light indicates steam. I don't know why I'd need a light for that. I can see there's steam coming out of there. This is a great machine for somebody that's just getting into the double boiler. Uh, you're getting up into the prosumer end of things. This steam is not as powerful as some machines, and I actually think that's a good thing for people that are not used to it. It gives you the time to actually work the milk and not get all frustrated and blow the milk out of the cup. But decent results. That's not bad. This timer times the shot tells you that was a 30 second shot and that's what we have the double set for so looking good. I don't know if I got enough foam but we'll see. Ooh, I did. Ooh, what's that? That looks like a bulb that's just, oh, how appropriate. It's a bulb that just came up out of the soil, the spring soil. It is springtime right now so there you go. That's just my interpretation, really. It's just a, it's nothing. Mmm. Pretty good. What are we using for coffee today? 49th Parallel. Epic. It's our epic blend. So that was pretty good. Check this machine out on our webpage. I think it's a pretty, I think Breville does some pretty nice things uh, with their products. They do a lot of research and development. They don't release something until it's ready to go. And they think of all the little bells and whistles and stuff. They really think about their machines when they do it. I got one thing I want to show you. It's not going to be apparent. This is the plug. Even they think about that. When you're pulling on an old plug, you know, people pull on the cord and they ruin it. These guys put a finger hold in it so you can pull it out. That's how much they think about their products. So, check it out on our webpage. Leave some comments down below. Thumbs up and subscribe. Come on. You can't see the videos ahead of everybody else if you don't subscribe. And check this machine out on our webpage and all the stats that go with it.